Last week's video, we brought you to sunny and warm Florida Keys. This week, not so much. Not so much. But as you can tell, we're in a hotel room, not an RV. Maybe you can't tell, but we are. We're RV-less. Yeah. We're actually in Elkhart right now, working on the delivery and a few last minute tweaks to the 410. So we're stuck with that in RV and without our footage. Uh, so we're trying a format that we've been thinking about for a while and yeah. now's a perfect time to do it. What we're gonna do, it's called a reaction video mm -hmm. and we are gonna watch this tour of Will Smith's $2.5 million RV and share our reactions. We have not watched this yet. So right. we're gonna watch it for the first time with you guys and let's all share our thoughts about the RV. Yeah, and let us know what you think of this format down below. Even if you think it sucks, just tell us. You can be honest. Tell us nicely. <laughs> yeah. This is a video from a guy called Ennis Yilmazar, and we're gonna have his channel in this video linked down below, so if you wanna watch the original. I'm excited, I have not watched this yet. Yeah. What's up, everybody? It's Ennis here, and welcome to another episode from Austin, Texas. Right behind me is Will Smith's RV. It's two stories, 1,200 square feet of interior space. It's ginormous. Valued around $2.5 million. And on the second floor, we have a hydraulic system that raises it 42 inches. It is Could truly you? one of a kind. We've never toured anything like this. And I want to give big thanks to Anderson Mobile Estates for allowing us to tour this amazing vehicle and share it with all of you. And now, let's begin. It has hydraulics on the did it say upper how, deck. Did it say how long it was? Well, he just said it was 1,200 square feet. Yeah, but that thing looks like, looks like it's at least 55 feet long. It's, I know there's a, a limit to how big, it, and most tractor trailers are 53, so it must be right around there. But the thing is huge. Could you imagine backing that thing into an RV park? <laughs> Holy cow. I don't think Phil Smith goes to RV parks. Probably not. Just saying. I think he just shows up. It is a, Jeez. It is a fifth wheel. I don't think our 450 could handle it, though. Oh, my gosh. Got lions. <laughs> lions and tigers and bears. We're gonna start our tour on the exterior. First off, this mobile home is just massive. It has this really nice champagne texture on the exterior. And on the second floor, you can see this entire glass section. That is basically your second floor. And with a push of a button, eight pistons pushes up this RV and raises it. That is crazy. That's how you get Puts a new spin on square. raise the roof. <laughs> awning here this is your main entrance you know your rv is big when your outdoor awning is only halfway up the rv <laughs> Door. So with the push of a button, it opens up. And That's no lipper right door. Now, this particular model has two pretty good size slide outs. We have the one right in front of us. Wow. And this is how you that gain deep, all the extra volume on the interior. I think it is. And Maybe it's looking just at the wheels of this thing, even the wheels are kind of cool and futuristic. And another distinct detail on the exterior I want to mention is that Although we have all these kind of seamless and frameless glass windows, they're also windows. reflective and kind of has that mirror finish. So you get this awesome reflection of the exterior. And yet on the inside, you get that shaded effect, which reduces the heat that comes into the unit. And again, it looks very futuristic. I love the color palette. Now I want to take everybody up front. We have two AC units. For this, Look at the size of those. and each one of the units are five tons. And to give wow. everybody a little bit of uh, scale and reference, five ton AC unit can easily cool off a three thousand square foot home in Texas. So that's definitely over. And there are two of, two of them. Yeah. They thought of everything. And now let's go inside. Jeez. Look at that door. All right, everyone. Here we are at the. I think RV Lock makes one for that? Maybe. <laughs> First, I want to take everybody this way, and this is where we have the dining area. Built-in table set up with this really unique design. You can actually fold this table in half if needed. So this table, the table doesn't look very big, but... So you have a built-in leather seat here. Windows are big. I like how it folds. Mm -hmm. Chairs on this side, and this is where Will Smith dines. Super cool. Right on the other side, we have the kitchen, but we're going to tour that in a bit. Now I want to bring everybody here to the living room area. Another built-in seating it's, with a leather couch. Please tell me there's a bigger couch somewhere here, than that. Yeah. 
they have probably upstairs 17 slabs to basically deck out this entire mobile home and it's just pretty awesome it's just pretty crazy look at the volume here all those slide outs are bringing so much volume and creating space where's the seating this thing must weigh a ton 30 tons to be exact we got the vehicle 60,000 pounds 30 tons Sick! Wow. Yeah, well, the, the dually's not the the Ford isn't pulling this one. For it's sure. essentially two. You know, there's one RV on top of the other, basically. Yeah, so too heavy, heavy RV. Uh, yeah. Just the trailer alone. Uh, it's pretty crazy. And Mikey, look over there. Well, let's first show it. I mean, we have this mirror design here. This is your makeup area, by the way. You have a TV on the back, but with a push of a button, I'm just gonna come to the screen right here. I'm gonna go lower. Even Will Smith has a televator, see? Very cool. <laughs> so and there's the a- lights also fold out as well. There's a TV right. behind the glass, and I guess? these windows, these frameless windows that we saw on the outside are bringing so much light. And it's just an awesome view to look at. And by the way, you guys may be wondering, like, where are you guys are at? I want to say that the downstairs level of his doesn't so have as high ceilings as ours. True. Built by Anderson Mobile Estates, Steve. the company who manufactures <laughs> yeah. these mobile homes, and they brought five of their models here and created a, basically a resort with an outdoor hangout areas, spa, oh, how much it is. and it's in Austin, Texas, and we're getting yeah. a chance to tour the units, but really, we're getting the whole experience here, and it's pretty awesome. It's kind of one of a kind. we got to reach out to them. Should we go out there and check it out, you guys? Yeah, let us know if you want us to go there and stay overnight in one of these. And Maybe. Film I don't know if it's open for for anybody though, so. I mean, we'll talk to Will. Oh. Yeah, I'll give him a call. You might get slapped. <laughs> he might smack me. <laughs> I knew that would come into play somewhere. It's, I, I guess it's it's that kind of Austin weird that everyone likes, you know? Absolutely, and each one of these mobile homes uh, were used by celebrities. I mean, we have the RV of Jennifer Lopez here, Vin Diesel, Simon Cowell, and the list goes on and on and wow. on. And it's kind of awesome, but my personal favorite is this one, Will Smith's, and then uh, let's continue our tour. Yeah. Now, we have the main TV here, granite countertops, hardwood floors throughout, and on the ceiling, we have the cold lighting detail, LED lights, AC diffusers are nicely recessed into the ceiling, and come in here, we have all these storage closets, and right behind me is actually a door. Oh, How that's, do you like that sound? oh, sound. it's like Star Trek. Star Trek. Oh. You yeah. just like said that? Star Trek door. And we have this room here. Now, this room is really important because this is where Will Smith gets ready. Did you, you see the- You uh, artists oh. here come through this exterior door on the person with the camera. Oh. <laughs> Filming it this on his knees with a mirror. Because this is where Will Smith gets ready. You have the makeup artist here come through this exterior door on the back. Oh, wow. And you have all these wardrobe closets. You have the small mirror here, granite countertop, seating area. And by the way, you can easily convert this room to a bedroom because this is a pull out bed. So it's this awesome space. And this is where Will Smith got ready for. But so far. Space. There's Such this small love seat in, in that smaller love seat in the front, and that's it. They don't look real comfortable either. They don't they look, look really comfortable. It doesn't look like something that you want to <laughs> spend a hell of a time in, you know? But, I mean, maybe there's a living room space upstairs. There's got to be. There's got to be. Do you think this is what Chris Rock saw moments before he got smacked? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ali in pursuit of happiness. How cool is that? We're walking into a piece of Hollywood history here. Yeah, it's really cool. And some of y'all might be wondering why it's segmented like this. Typically, on these film sets, they'll have three or four different trailers for makeup, mm. wardrobe, these kinds of things. But they have this door here. They can seal this off. This can kind of be wardrobe department. Uh, or production segment, you know, yeah, whatever. Exactly, yeah. He can get his makeup done in the other room and then move in here, wardrobe, and then straight out that door. It's just like you getting your makeup done in the other room. Yeah. To run, who is the owner of the company? He said that a lot of times in these sets it becomes an issue because I don't have like people come in and do my. <laughs> don't let them think that I do. Will Smith personally really likes this one because he has everything under one roof, and that way it's convenient for him, and it's just a time saver. Yeah. All right. Now let's go back to the entry again. For me. Dining area Decor on the right. wise, on the I don't left, really like the, the kitchen. You get a full size it's, it's, stainless steel. It's very chair, much one color. Microwave. Yeah. Induction cooktop. I like this glass backsplash detail. And you have your cabinetry, 
dishwasher drawer, and this side we have the sink. I gotta show this detail. So these granite countertops are actually very thin because they back layer it with this epoxy and uh, fiberglass finish. So they're really, really durable, but they also serve as a nice little sleep okay. cover for your sink. You keep saying it's granite, but I don't think that's granite. I don't either. It doesn't look like it. It looks more like a composite. A curve, and this is not a cheap detail to pull off. I'm really glad that they did that. It just kind of softens up the space. And we have the staircase. To that's the crazy. Wow. Between the first and second floor, Jeez. and this door opens up to a full bathroom. Now, this bathroom has everything you need. You have a walk-in shower here, clad with granite. It's also a steam shower. And Ooh. around the corner, you have your... <laughs> <laughs> we, we say that because, because we're in like 27 degrees today or something like that. A steam shower would be awesome. And the showers here in this hotel don't have doors that close. It's just like a... <laughs> it's like open. Uh, it's not my favorite. <laughs> cabinets, recess lights toilet set up right here and it's an interesting space between the first floor and second floor and we have these granite stairs taking us okay i thought that's dangerous i thought i thought the staircase was going to be something like really tight and utilitarian it's like all immaculate yeah but wood. but we wipe out on those steps it needs it needs something it yeah, needs you can't, you can't something. go down in your socks i mean i've slipped and fallen on my butt on the two steps in hours before you put the Wait, this upstairs is nice now, this is really interesting. We've never been on a second floor in an RV. Never. It's kind of crazy. I can't wrap my head around it, you know? Yeah, like we're pretty elevated here. I feel like we're like at least 20 feet off the ground. You can see the whole campground. I'd like to see it. What What's it like inside when that's down? Like, I imagine you can't go up there because it showed that top half going well, up. Well, no, I don't think are. you can go up there when it's when it's down, but what's the downstairs like? I, I, my guess is, you can't it go in my there guess either. is, no, my guess is the downstairs doesn't change because it looks like just the outsides of the walls hmm. wrap around the side. Hey, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> like hair and makeup, man. <laughs> I was trying to do a visual. It didn't really work out. It did out. not work out. We get great views. All See, the, the windows just windows go down. Bring in a ton of natural light. Hmm. And just think about it. Not only this RV has slide outs that comes in, collapses in, you have a second floor that goes up. Yeah. That's crazy. See? Engineering behind all these flashings and the way you collapse your walls, it's truly one of a kind. I mean, hats off to Anderson Mobile Estates. Designing something like this, building it, sustaining it, um, it's pretty awesome. It's yeah. just awesome. And what, what is what is like setup time? Because I see some things that look permanent, but I guess they expand it and then they kind time. of attach these things. Give or take half an hour. Okay, wait. Wow, uh, half an hour. That's a team of people. Yeah, that's got to be a team. That's not one dude hooking up the sewer. That's not a husband and wife. That's a whole team. It's got to be, right? Well, you know, it's got th like three slides. It's got the top, which is really like another slide. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's not that bad. I bet it takes less time to set this up than it does us with a transferring our office and to you know, garage building office. But, but I mean, I don't know. Did it say how this tall it was it with it? It's fully when it's like up road ready. Did it say? No, but it has to. It has to be under thirteen six to be legal on U.S. highways. It just highways. doesn't look like it is that. It looks like it's taller, but I don't know. This has got me like thinking though. Do you think we should have made the 410 two stories? Oh. <laughs> we missed out, Lance. We could have built the first two story Grand Design RV. <laughs> Since it's kind of like an RV resort now, they have extra sealants on top. So this is not something that they can kind of collapse it back pretty quickly. Mm. Yeah. But on a normal shoot, they can just bring this trailer set up in half an hour. It's ready to use. That's oh, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, right? Now, second floor, right there, we have a 100-inch drop-down projector screen. Wow. This is your projector, and it's just awesome. Where's the we seating, though? Where do you sit? And let's go check out the lounging area. It's got that here. typical problem of sofas this way and TVs tops. this way. Yeah. All these leather but sofas. Even Will Smith has to turn his head to watch TV. Yeah, but in ours, we don't have to. That are built in, and if you're wondering what are these, like, sides here it's where you have your ac vents so they've utilized with the granite countertops and hmm. made it a shelf but all these openings are your ac I wonder if that's noisy. we have the center section here with probably not because the ac units are on the ends the touch screen to control all the, just the airflow this is where will smith watches a movie hangs out um so cool it almost feels like we're in a train car right now yeah, it does. I mean, it's linear. But look at that. It's cool. And something about this elevation, I can't wrap my head around it. It's so cool. Yeah, it's like it's like one of those. How do you watch TV? Those double-decker trains. 
Absolutely. Well, you can lay on the couch and look to the end. I guess. You have this door opening up to the bedroom that is located on the back end. You have a double bed here, and uh, this is where Will Smith. A, a double, double bed. bed. I guess Will's just, <laughs> I guess Will's sleeping in there by himself. Above. This bed setup is a little bit elevated. It definitely gives it a cozy vibe. And around the corner. I think Jada gets her own RV when she does it. Yeah. With granite countertops, we have. 14 TVs in this RV, over $125,000 worth. 14 of TVs? 1,200 square feet, valued at around $2.5 million. It is without a doubt one of the most unique vehicles we have ever seen on this channel. The resort, I want to go to the resort. The resort looks cool. Yeah. Daisy would like the fake grass. Yes. She now is trained to go on fake grass. <laughs> I don't know. I like ours better. I do. I That's really do. For Will Smith's RV tour. I hope you all enjoyed this video. We're so lucky to get these opportunities to tour these incredible assets like the homes, yachts, and in this case, Will Smith's RV. I want to give big thanks to Anderson Mobile Estates for allowing us to do this tour and share it with all of you. And as always, you can find more information about them in the description of this video. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week. Very cool. Do what he says, but give us a like and a thumbs up. And go to his channel and do it too. Um, we want to thank him for putting this video together because we were able to make a video out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, I'm not kidding. I'd rather be in our RV. It's cool to see it. Yeah, it's. It, I, would, I definitely would love to see it in person, and I think it's really amazing. But it's not... Again, it's for a Hollywood star. Right. It's got it's, a makeup section. But it's and... not for the RVer. It's not for a lot of travel and stuff like that. Right. It's not for people to live in full time, obviously. I'm very interested in that resort, so we're going to look into that. Mm -hmm. If you like this format and you think there is another RV video that you'd like us to react to and see, mm -hmm. please post the link down below. We'll check it out. Yeah. And thanks guys for sticking with us and letting us try out something new and bring you something different. And we hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family mm -hmm. and friends. And hopefully we'll be bringing you some footage of the 410 very soon. See you later.